Hello everyone and welcome to another Soul Seeker video. Today we are going to be talking about the new update that is coming in a few days. Uh, more likely like tomorrow, maybe. If, depends on how long it takes me to upload this video. Hopefully it's going to be one day before the update comes. So, let's talk about the update 1.6.5. And the first thing that they added is the ground chamber. It's a place where you can increase your attack, defense, HP, evasion, movement, critical rate, accuracy, or skill power. And it depends on the hero, guys. And as you can see on this image that we have right now, and you can see that the more points that Irene can get is over 40. Um, they said that that changes with the rates. So, as a awakening hero, she have 40 room points. Uh, maybe when she gets extreme awakening, maybe she can get 50 or 60. Maybe I don't know. We can see that after the update. And uh, what I can see is that it's pretty expensive. It costs like 600,000 coins. It's a lot. Um, so. Training your heroes in the chamber is going to be very costly, as you can see. Um, you can train three at the same time. And the good thing is that you can choose of any of these um, eight stats. I'm going straight for I guess from the at for the attack, defense, and HP. Maybe in some heroes I might um, get the skill power increase, or maybe the um, the critical rate it will be good I don't know I need to test that but I guess I will be going for the attack defense and HP more likely and for example if you are if you have an extreme awakening orga that you know that he is almost a god because he cannot be defeated he almost has like 300,000 health points so he, he's a beast and uh, if you increase his um, HP by 10% using this um, training, his life points are going to be like increases for 30,000 health points. So it's a lot. It's going to be a, a it is going to be a, making a very good difference in the game. So that's the ground chamber. You can choose any of these um, eight um, stats to um, increase that to your heroes so I get that tip and um, you choose only three heroes it's going to be expensive and you can choose any of these stats to be increased okay I guess that's pretty good one of the best things that this update has so let's talk about now the item disassemble system if you disassemble weapons, you're going to be getting decent mansion shards. If you're going to be disassembling armor, you're going to be getting time shards. And if you're going to be disassembling accessories, you're going to be, get, to be getting crack shards. So as you can see in this image, you might be get this by disassembling three armors. I get that's like the 20%, maybe less of the shards that you paid at the beginning for them maybe less I guess it's too low actually um, and they are awakening items I don't want to know about the normal items I don't know if they are going to be worth it to disassemble I guess I might be trying to sell them more than disassembling because I don't know gold now is going to be very very neat since um, this gold road chamber is going to be costing a lot so yeah I guess that's it for that part and um, we're going to be having three awakening skills gravity field, little attack and falling ground I guess these um, skills are most likely for um, for support the extreme awakening heroes for example you can combine um, out obviously with gravity field or out with falling ground depends on the hero but let's take a look of these skills Gravity fields decreases the attack speed of four enemy targets within a fixed range by 62% almost for 12 seconds when the battle starts. And I don't think it's that very good, but it could be very good if the um, heroes are like very powerful in attack. But if the hero is like 
some healer that is likely the meta right now. Um, I don't think that this skill is going to be affecting that too much. Um, they only need to activate their skills and attack a little bit. But it's going to be affecting only heroes like Lana, like Yuria, like I don't know, Orga maybe. <laughs> so leave, leave it like that and uh, let's see how it how that skill is after the update. Now let's talk about Lethal Attack. This one just increases the power skill. Very good actually. It can um, heal your hero more. For, for example, if you have Orga and you put Lethal Attack, you are going to be healing more. So I guess it's okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Especially if you have Orga with more HP, so he's going to be healing a lot more. So that, I guess that's very good combo with him. Combo that with um, Oath and he's going to be healing a lot and he's going to be invincible with Oath. Well, healing a lot with little attack and being invincible with Oath. Let's keep that clear. Now let's talk about Falling Ground. Turns, turns the area into Falling Ground within a fixed range for 5 seconds with 75% chance and decreases the attack power of the enemies within the range by 20% and stop the cooldown time when the skill is used. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. As you can see, it's only an arena exclusive skill. It can make a lot of damage if you think about that, because you are going to not let your opponent get their, their skills for 5 seconds. And also you are going to be lowering the attack. So your opponent cannot use his skill for 5 seconds and you even a perp that you are going to be avoiding him to make you more damage so you are going to be you are going to have a window of 5 seconds to finish him off it's pretty good so put it with Yuria and you are going to be making a lot of damage put it with Lana you are going to be making a lot of damage but this Fallen Ground skill, I guess, is more likely to be with, um, yeah, this this Fallen Ground skill is going to be more likely to be used on Extreme Awakening Heroes, because everyone must have Oath at the beginning, you know that, for the arena. Um, let's leave the Fallen Ground for the Extreme Awakens. I might get my first Extreme Awakening in 5 days, I am not going to tell you who is going to be, so I'm going to leave you with that. But I'm going to tell you who is going to be my second awakened skill, extreme awakened skill. If you have seen this, you might be know who it's going to be. So, the new awakened skill change cell, I guess it's a little bit confusing because you are going to, as I read, um, you can get the discount for a time and then you can get it back when you try to change the skill again with that of that hero, something like that. I get. I got a little bit confused about this, so I can't talk about too much about this, about this part of the update. Um, the only thing I know is that you are going to be receiving a discount when you change your skill finally. So they are going to be deleting the normal mode in Hermes, nothing important for people that actually have like 3 or 4 months playing, not that the people took the deal. The new costumes, Seal, Shanna, Pai, and Mithy. I'm going to be getting that Seal um, costume. I already have her the the other clownly costume that I don't like, but I like this a little bit more than the other one. So I'm going to be getting that. I I won't be getting any of these three because I already have the other ones. Maybe Pi, but I'm not planning to awaken Pi right now. And yeah, I don't like these these customs other than Seal's custom. Um, we're going to be having the three new pets of the um, January contest. They are finally going to be releasing, as they told, that they were going to be releasing them on Jan on March. So yeah, they are coming on this update, and let's we are going to be seeing what are the new um, skills or what they are going to be doing on the game. So we have some shop modifications. Nothing important here. For edits, for me, it's not that important except for the part that you can buy extreme awakening materials. 
For those that are going to be running for the new um, Extreme Awakened Heroes that are coming in April, there you go. It's going to be very, very good for you. And for me. I guess I'm going to be getting for one of those, I guess. Oh, or maybe a lot of them. Let's see, let's say a lot of them. So, the other things that we are going to be adding, I don't want to show that yet. Damn it. I missed that. I already missed that, so I'll leave it like that. Mm. The scenario, blah blah blah, the transcendental level is now 44, the max transcendental level, finally. So I need a lot of rubies for this, for getting more links, I guess. I don't know, it's going to be taken out. And the new... Well, the Tower of Devil has been expanded to 132, so I guess we have 12 more floors, I guess. Yes, we have 12 more floors, and... Now finally the animation of in the Tower of Devils and the Devil Sage battle finally is going to be can be skipped. Finally but because that takes a lot of time. Um some bugs that they are going to be fixing. So let's talk about the update that we're going to be having right now. No stream awakened heroes on this update. Yes. No awakened heroes. So what we're going to be doing here is talking about the April update that they might be bringing the first week of April like they did on this month. So they are going to be making a new scenario area. So I guess that area is going to be having the new Extreme Awakening Heroes. I hopefully think that not. And finally the part of the video that I wanted to show you especially the new stream awakened heroes that are coming on April guys April so after that after the I guess the 1.6.6 is going to be released they are going to be adding 12 new stream awakened heroes they are going to be in the first week Ramia, Sebram and Sierra guys and um, at the moment I'm not planning on awakening any of them, Sebram is very good, I'm, I may be going to be awakening him as my third awakened hero. The second week is going to be Rania, Bones and Anna. Nope, not for me. The third week, as you can see, Warren, Liz and Lana. We're going to be having Extreme Awakened Lana, finally, it's going to be taking me well, it's going to be taking us at least 30 more, 35 more days after she's going to be released. So, I have 5 days to awaken my first stream awakened hero. And then I have like 35 days to get all the 480 pieces to get extreme awakened Lana when she comes out. So, I'm going to explain this very fast. The update is coming on March 8th, the um, 1.6.5 version. So I guess the 1.6.6 is going to be released, I guess, on April 3. Let's see here. You can see it, but I can. The calendar. Okay. There might be updating it to the 1.6.6 at April 5th. I guess and Lana might be released on the third week of that uh, well after that release so the first week the, fa the April 5 is going to be um, Ramia, Sebram and Sierra maybe then April 12 they are going to be releasing Rania, Bones and Anna and finally on week on the third week on April 19, they might be releasing Warren, Liz, and Lana. But if the release is going to be like one week, that it can happen. It has it has happened like three times before in the past. That come to us and delay a little bit the update for one week. Maybe then Lana is going to be released on April 26th. I'm going to be running. I'm not going to be slow for that, I want to have Lana after um, her Extreme Awakened form is released 
so I'm running to get my first stream awakened right now. Actually, I have paid like I'm playing, I'm paying like 280 and um, gems daily to get that first stream awakened from now because I was not paying that until because I was waiting on this um, notice to see who were going to be the new uh, extreme awakened heroes. So yeah, Lana might be update on April 19 or on April 26 and finally but not at least but not at least we have Dean, Mistra and Cynthia in the week 4 um, I was thinking about um, Extreme Awakening Cynthia but she's green so I guess that no I, I, I'm not going to be Extreme Awakening her I don't have her even awakened yet but I was thinking about that because of her um, invincibility and skill that actually she got she got out of the meta because of Erin but I guess she can be again the meta because of this um, extreme awakening form she's going to be having. So um, they are going to be adding new new heroes and they are going to be doing some coming update on that April um, update. So, all that I wanted to show you right now in this video is that Lana is going to be out on April, on April 19, hopefully, I hope, that re they release it. I'm going to be rushing to get those pieces and to get her when she's going to be released on the third week of after the update. So, I hope you like this video guys, I hope you I will help you a lot. And leave a like if you like as always and I will see you in the next video. See ya!